Hey group one, it is the Sun Sage and thank you so much for tuning in to your next pick a card. What's next? Your love life in February, okay? So this is where I take a look and make some predictions about your love life in February. Who may you be connecting to? What might you be dealing with um, when it comes to your love life? We're gonna see. So group one, let's go ahead and get started. You guys were drawn to the red Jasper, okay? And also the Wizard's Tarot, okay? So we're going to take a special look into your love life in February to see what is coming in, okay? So group one, what's going on for your love life in the month of February? The Star, the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> the three of pentacles okay what's going on for your, your love life the devil all right what else do we have for you the lovers you definitely got some action in your love life all right um the knight of wands okay So overall, <laughs> the King of Pentacles. So look, your love life is going to be pretty abundant. Um, I feel like there, there is not going to be, um, I feel like this is a month where you're going to be figuring out who you want. Okay. I feel like you have what you want as far as like what you want in a person. And for some of you, it looks like it's showing up in more than one person, right? Maybe an Aquarius and a Sagittarius are here. Maybe there's an Aquarius you want to work things out with, or just someone that you want to work things out with. But there's also someone new seemingly rushing in. And so the overall energy is that you make the choice that's better for longevity, okay? I do feel like your love life is being led by masculine energies or a particular masculine energy in February. It looks like this person is very successful, very attractive. It looks like this is someone that you could have a long life with together if that is what you choose, right? I'm getting where you may have some type of love triangle third party dynamic because you have more than one option. Let's take a look at one message um, for your love healing heart. Yeah, some of you definitely have pick up where you might work things out with someone, but it says healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So I, I feel like you have more than one option in um, February, particularly two. Okay. Um, for some of you, it's going to be between a, a, a Aquarius, a Sagittarius and a Taurus. Okay. Those specific signs, um, possibly a Capricorn and a Gemini. Right. But what feels like is strongly coming through is that there's somebody who actually feels like um, they want to be in a better place with you romantically. Um, you may have already be in the process. It's not shown where they like return and just show up out of nowhere. This person may already be in your life. This may already be someone you, you're wanting to work things out with. I just feel like you get someone new or someone newer coming in out of nowhere while you are in the process of trying to work things out. Okay. So let's go ahead and break these messages down. Your love life in February, somebody's going to be spending a lot of money on someone. Okay. Someone is sharing their wealth. They're sharing their abundance with the person they are trying to win over. So let's go into it. Yeah, with the star, I feel like your February gets off on a good note. I feel like it starts with some sort of refreshing, uh, healed or more healed, uh, inter encounter between you and somebody that you do love or care about. I feel like the star is just saying you had faith that something would work out or something would make more sense. And so it's, it's definitely coming through that you will have clarity. You will have faith in a relationship. Um, uh, you will have faith in a connection that feels like you may have struggled, but in the new year, somebody either got it together or they're in the process of getting it together um, so that they can be with you. All right. So what is this star about? Yeah. The King of Wands now. So you absolutely have love prospects here. 
for sure. Okay. Um, for, you know, those of you that were thinking you're going to be in February, like with nobody to, to romantically connect to, it's just showing up that you're going to have more than your share. What it could be is that if you are just working things out with somebody, you haven't really fully trusted them again or gotten back together with them again. Um, I feel like there's definitely a possibility, a big possibility of that happening. I feel like it's something you always wanted, but then other people start reaching out to you and getting close to you um, who are interested in you romantically. And then you're like, where did they come from? Okay. So there's someone here. I feel like you already want to work on things with the King of Wands. Um, I think what's happening is that by the end of February, you are going to have, it's going to be more difficult for you to, um, it could be, it doesn't have to be, but it may be more difficult for you to um, figure out if working with this person is in your best interest or if you should date around. Okay. But that's just a, you know, that's, that's a, a small energy coming through, but I definitely see healing in a connection with someone. Okay. Um, I feel like there's a passion being restored here. Okay. I feel the energy of, uh, maybe you guys lost feelings for each other. Maybe distance separated you and this person. Somebody left. Someone walked away. They weren't able to deal with the, sh the strength of the connection. And so what I'm getting is that in February, somebody is way more in tune to their passion. They're way more in tune to their, their appeal they have on you or you have on someone. So it, it feels like something is working. Like somebody's wish fulfillment was to work things out with the person of their dreams. And that's what it looks like is happening. Whether you are representing this person's dream person or they are yours, I absolutely see where you're working it out with them. So yeah, the two of pentacles in the reverse, um, it can kind of be a chaotic, uh, distracting energy, but I also feel like this is representing finding better balance, okay, with this person that you may have struggled with in the past. I do feel like, okay, um, there's a possibility the person that is, you know, we're discussing here is somebody that um, you did want to be with and you did already make plans with. You probably already have a history with this person, but they couldn't make up their mind and they possibly were confusing you. So in February, I feel like this person is wanting to like they could still be confused about some things. They could still be somewhat distracted with the two of pentacles in the reverse. But I do pick up some sort of effort to be more balanced in this relationship to give you more reciprocity in this connection. I feel like this is a king of wands who isn't really hiding their true intentions with you. This is absolutely somebody that wants to work things out with you. Um, but I'm almost picking up like they're not going to like force anything. Okay. They're not going to um, become like too burdensome to you, right? They really want you to make the choice whether you want them in your life or not. Okay. That's another thing. You have a lot of authority in in your love life. Okay. And the month of February, the emperor here, you're in control. Okay. People are coming to you. People are gravitating towards you. Whoever wants you has to do what needs to be done to get to you. So you're clearly exuding some sort of power, strength, sex appeal, authority, um, some type of energy where you're protected and you're able to like not, you're able to, um, kind of filter out the unserious, <laughs> you know, so that you can only entertain the serious. Okay. So that's coming through. You may connect with a father romantically. Somebody, your person could be a father. You could be a father. The energy is that this is, um, this is like mature stuff happening, right? In this, in, in whatever your is going on in your love life, very mature energy. So the 10 of wands. So this is where I feel like, um, Somebody is now wanting the responsibility, like what they looked at as a burden, right? Um, being in a relationship, being committed. Somebody now wants the responsibility of, of being faithful, <clears throat> of being loyal. The three of pentacles here can definitely represent. Yeah, it's difficult, you know, being together, but we're going to do it together. Okay. Ten of wands, three of pentacles. So it's not as, as difficult. So it's not as heavy for us to deal with. You and someone have very strong sexual chemistry or tension in February. I want to, before I go into this 10 of Wands, I just want to see what this Two of Pentacles in the reverse is. Thank you. 
the two of cups, right? So this person feels like they absolutely were um, undecided about whether they wanted to commit. And now they are making a decision in February that they want to be with you. So they're going to find ways to get closer to you, to bridge some gaps between you, to create less distance. Yeah, the world, you may even like this person may travel to you, or you may finally see them after not seeing them for a while, maybe two months. So, uh, the world is saying that there's some sort of like strife and conflict that's over in a relationship. And now it is time for a new chapter. So for a lot of you, this is already someone that you're connecting to and things are just going to expand in your relationship. There's going to be more healing. There's going to be more shared responsibility, which is important. There's going to be more commitment and investment here. So the 10 of wands is the knight of swords. So, um, the knight of swords clarifying the 10 of wands is definitely someone who doesn't care how difficult it is. They're going to make it work. Okay. This is someone that doesn't like to fail. This is someone that doesn't like to miss out. So the energy is that you have someone like definitely probably chasing after you and, and you feel like you're making this person work for it for sure. Um, but I feel like, at the, you know, at the end of the day, this is somebody who feels like they'll do anything to get with you, to be with you, whatever it takes. This also, you know, I'll be honest with this 10 of wands. I get the energy that the person you really want and that you're going to be dealing with strongly. I feel like they may have left somebody to deal with you um, in February. I feel like it's either that or they were dating. Okay. They were on the dating scene and um, they realized that they couldn't have you and all these other options. And so just February, you're just going to feel like this person is choosing you over and over again, over uh, exes over options. This just feels like somebody who is ready to take on the responsibility. What's the Knight of Swords? Gemini Libra here too came out. Yeah. Queen, <laughs> cause they're holding on to you. Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So you have somebody who was like getting whipped into shape essentially again. Playtime is over. That's the overall vibe that you're sending out. You're sending out some signal to whoever your romantic interest is in February group one don't play with me, right? If you really want to be with me, show me. Okay. So I feel like you've actually accomplished something. You're going to realize how much you have accomplished and how far you have come when it comes to your relationships. You really are making a stand and I feel like it's working. I feel like that Knight of Swords may even represent you feeling protective of yourself um, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. I'm not giving anything of myself until it's proven that you're worthy of me type vibes. And so so you definitely have somebody here who's up for the challenge. Strong fire sign in that. Uh, uh, Leo, Aries, Sag, and strong uh, air sign in that as well. Uh, Libra, Gemini, also Aquarius. Very strong Aquarius. So um, yeah, this is just like the energy of somebody who thought you were too much for them. Your standards were too high, right? That's why we have the 10 of wands. It was way too much pressure. They couldn't carry it. So now this person is like, okay. I could carry this relationship. I can be with group one. I don't want to lose out for sure. And so they realize the best way to hold on to you is to commit to you. Okay. So the three of pentacles, you may go to your person's job in um, February. What's next in your love life could be about more uh, connecting to people they work with, connecting to some of their friends, um, somebody they may have a business with. For a lot of you, this could be a big deal because you've been waiting to meet people in their life. For others of you, you're just getting more of this person. And so you're going to see more of what they do for a living, or you're going to see more of what their passion is. But overall, that three of pentacles is saying you and this person work together really well. There's a chemistry. You collaborate um, very successfully with this person. Okay. This can also represent a few dates. Okay. in uh, February. So what do we have for the three of pentacles, the five of swords? I feel like you may meet somebody in their life that may not like you. That's just honestly coming through three of pentacles, five of swords. The minute they put you in an environment with other people that they know, there's gossip talking about you, a page of swords. This can also represent you. If you're planning to show your colleagues to this person or they're accompanying you to the, the, the work dinner or something, there's going to be gossip. So there's something about your connection that is going to have people talking the page of swords. I also feel like there's some 
sort of confirmation here where people who knew you guys were dealing with each other or people who knew you were working things out, um, they're, they're, they're kind of speaking on this, um, behind your backs. And, um, yeah, like I knew they were going to get back together. Um, you know, just being really messy here. So that's a big, big, big possibility as you start to intertwine your personal lives, professional lives with each other's, um, there's going to be people that don't like you and there's going to be people that don't like your person. Um, what's this, uh, five of swords? Thank you. Some of you, yeah. Okay. So the high priestess. All right. Look, so yeah. I think that there has been talk about this relationship because what the vibe that I'm getting, okay, is that most of you are dealing with somebody seriously right now. And the page of swords is possibly you feeling, you could already feel like people watching y'all's connection, wondering if you're going to pop out together, talking about you. This is strong gossip. Page of swords, five of swords, and the high priestess. This is people spreading rumors. This is people, you know, the unexpected people you, you really wouldn't see speaking on you, speaking on you and your relationship. So your relationship is coming through as a trigger. It's coming through as some sort of a uh, way to expose, okay, who you may or may not want to continue dealing with. There may be somebody in your circle. This is also feeling like somebody, like if you're trying to keep your relationship private, this is somebody dishonoring that and telling people about it. Did you know group one is dealing back with King of Wands? Did you know group one is back with Aquarius? You know, things like that Um, while you're trying to protect this relationship and work it out. So I feel like you hear about this person. It could be a Pisces spreading rumors here or a Pisces sort of stirring the pot with you and your person, especially, okay, especially if your person has left someone for you, the word is getting back. Okay. There's definitely, um, Oh, okay. So I ain't going to keep it, but this fell on the floor, the 10 of cups in the reverse. Somebody has like a snake energy in their family. You are trying to protect something that you value. And I feel like you're going to find out that this person has been, I think this is going to be very disappointing for you. This isn't about your lover so much as it will be about somebody in your close inner circle, uh, possibly even saying negative, negative things about your relationship. It's not going to last. Someone's going to leave someone. So I'm not going to keep this 10 of cups in the reverse, but it did, um, fall out. And I have the high priestess here. It could be a Pisces involved with that and judgment, Scorpio, water signs. Wow. Five of wands. So just confirming the energy of also like just competition. So if word is getting out that you're dealing with somebody or your person is dealing with you, there could be somebody in the background who feels slighted by this because they're like, I wanted somebody, I wanted a uh, group one or somebody wanted your person. And so judgment feel, again, that's that trigger. Um, I'm surprised it's not a tower, but it judgment can still represent that there is something that is being looked at. Okay. Something that is being reviewed very closely here. Um, and somebody's trying to figure out how to handle something. And it feels like somebody's trying to figure out how to handle, they got some competition. So you have gossip surrounding your relationship in February. You could have people fighting over you. You could have people fighting over your person. And when I say fighting over, it's not necessarily people fighting to be with you, but people fighting over the, the relationship itself or people fighting over how you began or restarted your connection. There seems to be some dispute. They were dealing with me while they were dealing with you, right? Something like that. And while it does feel over between you and someone else or someone else and you, I mean, or someone else and your person, February is a confirming month. Oh, it's really over. It's really over because 
you know, and they could be really upset about that. So somebody's mad for sure. And I do feel like somebody is about to be tested with the high priestess and judgment. Which path are they going to take? Are they going to try to sabotage this connection and gossip? It's kind of like somebody, you know, sharing news with you about your person. Um, that's not very flattering or speaking on their other relationships to try to deter you from dealing with them. So just be careful of that type of energy trying to infiltrate because we go straight to the devil. And so, you know, that's about negative energy, which will be surrounding your connection in the month of February. OK, I feel now that the 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 more than one person or more than one option, you could absolutely have romantic offers, people asking for your number, wanting to take you out. OK, I feel like you guys are becoming more loyal to a energy. And I feel like as that's happening, it's irritating someone's spirit. Someone misses having control over you or, or your person. Someone misses the bond that they have with you. Um, I would say this is somebody just missing you and they regret that they're losing out on you. But this person actually feels like they're up to no good. So let's just clarify that. Um, Capricorn energy with that. The sun. Okay. It's like feeling your joy, your happiness, your completion, your fulfillment slipping away. And making one last stand almost to see if you can retrieve it, get it back. Someone wants to steal the other, per someone's joy because you and this person are happy together. And somebody is only happy when they are, when they are controlling something. Okay. So when you were hooked on somebody from your past or somebody that you had to walk away from, they were loving it. When they were giving you the bare minimum, but you still were able to love on them and speak life into them, they love that. And now that it feels like you have something more reciprocal, six of pentacles, a relationship where you're possibly getting more, this person uh, feels like they want you back. So there's somebody here regretful. Didn't, didn't I say making a last stand? Nine of wands. So there's definitely... Um, somebody with bad intentions making a last stand in February when it comes to you or your person. The Five of Cups is confirming. So this could be your person's ex. Um, you may hear more about this person in February for sure. Okay. They may go, I wasn't even going to bring this up, but I've been getting a lot of disturbing phone calls lately, group one. I just wanted you to be aware. This person is spreading rumors about me. They're posting stuff online. Like somebody feels like they're going to want you to know the truth. Um, that somebody they did leave, walk away from. From, they may have hurt their feelings. This person is acting out. This person is responding in a way where they feel like they want to regain some sort of power control and they're not giving up. All right. So um, that's coming through very strongly. Leo energy with that Leo Capricorn here. Somebody's trying to block someone from seeing a future with someone else. From seeing happiness and joy with someone else in February. And I feel like, you know, it's you guys overcome this, the magician, but this comes through with this devil energy, the sun and the nine of wands. So it is somebody kind of not giving up and going. So I'd say that the magician is somebody who, for me, sometimes feels like they'll do anything. They'll put all their, they'll, they'll go through anything to get, you know, to, to prove themselves or to do what they want. And so that's the energy of an ex, or that's the energy of someone who feels lost, empty, like they're about to miss out on you or your person. And this person is doing anything. Okay. Read between the lines. The magician is here. So um, the nine of wands with the magician feels like somebody even having the ability to create drama, stir up some sort of uh, tower moment, uh, c conflict, confrontation, uh, because you and this person are uniting. So the lovers feels like uh, you definitely overcome it. You may be going into union with a Gemini or a Sagittarius in February. Nine of Swords. I feel like, so this is just a heads up. Something feels like, whatever feels like it's meant to cast doubt over you and your person, like y'all are going to doubt each other. There's going to be heavy insecurity surrounding your connection because of outside people. Right. Um, I just feel like the writing is on the wall, like the writing is clear that you and this person are wanting to be together and there will be an energy or two 
um, attempting to disrupt that. Either change your mind about your person or change your person's mind about you. And so that's what the Nine of Swords is. Something feeling like fear seeping into your relationship, making it very difficult for you to trust each other, for you to see each other in your future. That's intentional. Okay, and then it comes through with the two of wands in the reverse. Someone who can't move on is in that energy. You have to also be mindful that you or your person may be struggling to move on out of fear. Okay, um, somebody is just simply um, like kind of fearful that there's going to be drama moving forward with you. And then there's another energy coming through where somebody is still mourning a relationship. They They may not want that person back, but they're like, when did this person turn into this devil energy? When did they start doing stuff like this? Like there's going to be, you're sharing your person with their past or your person is sharing you with your past because that's going to be a big issue in your relationship in February. It doesn't look like it breaks you up or separates you because y'all are healing together. You're just going to be super triggered um, with these blasts from the past. Four of Cups. So, yeah, somebody just doesn't want to move on. It's almost like someone is refusing to move on. They may want an apology, but they may have got one. And they're like, no, that's not good enough. Somebody's being really stubborn here. But I feel like for these energies to come through with the lovers, it's just letting you know that someone's mental state, you or your person, is going to be challenged. Okay, somebody tries to guilt one of you and I feel like it works. Even if it's a temporary energy, you're going to feel bad for a while for moving on with your life. But you do move on. Knight of Wands, somebody is is uh, getting closer to you. You guys are definitely passionate about each other. Okay, I feel like this can also represent another person that's going to that's gonna reveal themselves to you in February as interested Let's see why the Knight of Wands is here, okay? Yeah, I feel like you may get some attention online from somebody. This person may compliment you a lot. They definitely may express some sort of sexual interest. You may not take this person seriously, but they are showing up as a character in your love life. For others of you, there is some sort of PDA or online expressions of passion and love between two people, okay? Seven of Wands. This really does feel, though, like somebody else who wants a chance with you, maybe with your person, but with you. It's a feminine energy in this Knight of Wands, so however it resonates, somebody may want a chance with you, and, and they want some attention, so they're doing anything to get some attention, but they do feel like they're limited, like they're somewhat blocked, and they, they're, they're going to have to pull back or resist in some way. Seven of Wands here with that Six of Wands. Yeah, I just still feel the energy of somebody feeling like they can't let go of something they, they really work towards holding on to and keeping here. All right, what's the seven of wands for group one? All right, six of pentacles. This is an interesting energy. But someone may not mind being... Like on the side, like, will you like, I, like not saying, will you share your person with me? But this person may absolutely feel like a winning position for them is to somehow remain in you or your person's life by just being there for sexual reasons or just being there just in case it doesn't work out. Okay. Um, I'm also getting like, there's this like really strong, passionate, protection between you and your person you're very defensive of one another they they take up for you you take up for them you guys fight for each other i'm telling you something may play out online but you defend each other um online and in public okay so let's see what we have so i am going to take a look at healing heart in the extended to see why it is coming through for your love life in february i'm going to go deeper into that all right, I'm going to grab some more here, but I'll take a look at the mini extended. You have sunglasses for your love life in February, not today, okay, for your love life in February, and passion, all right? I'm going to clarify those in the extended. Um, I am also going to take a very special look for those of you that are interested to see what is going on 
for you for Valentine's Day. Okay, so I'm going to take a special look at your Valentine's Day in this February. What's next message to see what's happening for you guys. I'm also going to take a look at what you can expect in your love life if you'll be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign, an air sign, or an earth sign. So I'm going to break it down by element to see what you can expect um, based on who you will be dealing with, because most of you are dealing with somebody, at least one person. I'm also going to get your biggest lesson in February, okay? What is February about when it comes to your love life, okay? What lesson is it you're supposed to be learning in February or that you will learn? So you guys, I am taking this to the extended, but first, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Um, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, check out the exclusive content on my Patreon or um, on Gumroad. The links are in the description box. And if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out the sunsage.com. I am taking this to the extended now. Hi, group two. It is the Sun Sage. And thank you so much for tuning in to your next pick a card reading, which is what's next, your love life in February. So this is for those of you that want a little sneak peek into your love life in February to see who you could be connecting to and what's going on with that or what's coming in, right? Um, If you will be sort of focusing on self-love, this is just what's happening in your love life in general. So let's see what the overall energies are for you. So you guys were drawn to the green adventuring okay and the tarot of the divine okay so group two let's take a look at your february predictions here what's going on in your love life in the month of february all right so what's next for group two in their love life in February. The Page of Cups. Okay. Knight of Coins. Four of Swords. Okay. Your Love Life in February. The Moon. The Empress. And we also have the six of wands, okay? So at the bottom, there's the ten of swords. So this feels like coming to terms with an, an ending, coming to terms with a separation or a breakup, um, something being final. And I feel energetically being okay with that, right? Healing from that. The ten of swords is also about um, healing. It could be about a bitter ending. It could be about a breakup. It could be about, um, realizing something about a situation or someone, um, and, and it's hurtful, but it, it helps you move forward. And so the energy definitely comes through for you guys that you are able to have some type of newness, fresh energy in your love life because you've let something go, no matter how hard it was, or you've accepted some sort of finality in a situation and you're just happy and embracing a new beginning. You do start with the page of cups. So I don't feel like you're sulking. I don't feel like you're bitter. I just feel like the 10 of swords overall is an energy that it's okay for you to move forward now, right? Something isn't holding you back. Something is no longer like stressing you out, weighing you down. And so however it ended, okay, it does feel as if um, there's enough sort of supply of healing for you in February. So let me just take a look at um, a message here for your love. Yeah, the Phoenix. It says new phase. Okay. Rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. I really do feel like you start February in a good way. Um, when it comes to your love life, you're doing some sort of cleansing, some sort of releasing here. Um, it's mental for the most part. I don't feel like you're still in pain, pain, like heartbreaking pain um, that may, uh, you know, come up 
a few times throughout the month, but overall, I do feel like you've accepted that something needed to be over, okay, with that ten of swords so that you can soar, so that you can be better off, so that you can have a new life and start fresh. So for some of you, just literally, you're going to be dealing with more than one person, okay? Page of Cups, Knight of Coins. That's that's energies, that's new people um, or people that may have been friends and you finally see them in a romantic way or there's somebody here you work with or, you, you know, maybe you share a child with this person and you've never looked it or you haven't looked at them romantically in a long time. I just feel like something new, something fresh, even if it's a mindset or how you see someone is coming into your life. Um, and so uh, the energy is that somebody here could definitely be pregnant. And so you could just be like really getting close to or getting closer to the person you're pregnant by. Um, that's, that's definitely here. There could be something about this is bringing you closer to this person. Maybe the fighting between you and that person is over and February is just going to be a really good month for you guys to mend things and, and get better with each other. So that, that's coming through strongly. Um, but yeah, it looks as if you're getting like loving messages or like this is could be compliments to somebody's trying to get your attention in February. Somebody wants you to know that they do have some type of feelings for you. Um, they may not be sure, you know, uh, how far they want this to go, but they're interested. Okay. The page of cups is absolute interest. So what's the page of cups about? <laughs> five of cups. Yeah. I feel like you're actually mending things with somebody that you, you, you broke things off with. You accepted some sort of finality and you guys are getting a new beginning, um, together. It may not feel like you're doing this together in February, but I do feel like there's been some changes. Um, you both may feel differently, think differently. And so it's like being reintroduced to a newer version of yourselves. There has been some healing individually. And so something could definitely be coming back around. I also feel like, um, you know, just based on what's here, you're, you're, you're optimistic and positive. Okay. You're exuding that energy in February, even though you're hurting, even though you're sad, even though you told yourself, I'm not going to deal with anybody else, you're giving something a chance. Okay. So even if this isn't about, you know, dealing with that past person or seeing someone in a new light, this is about you carrying, you know, some regret with you, um, wishing you had done di things differently, but very positive that the next time you connect to somebody, which will be February. Okay. Um, you're going to do it differently. You're going to have that opportunity. So let's see what the five of cups is saying. This is also an apology. I feel like, I, okay, <laughs> this, this apology is going out. So I feel like it may be coming from you. It doesn't have to be you, but there's also this thing where you could be apologizing to yourself. Okay. Um, but I do feel very strong, uh, spiritual work. And so you may feel like, let me apologize to somebody that I, I, I broke their heart you know, and that could be like how you start this new beginning in your life, um, making amends with somebody from your past. Two of cups. So you're optimistic about your love life in February. I really do feel like the energy you're giving is going to come back to you in a positive way. I feel like there is like a broken home here, ten of cups in the reverse. Um, there's a sense that you won't be happy until you have something or, to, or, or until you have completed something. And so there are a lot of you here that, you know, are definitely open to new beginnings and to meeting new people, to dating. I do feel like there's also an energy that you're open to reconciling. You're open to you know, doing what's necessary to to mend a broken bond with somebody that you still could love and care about or somebody could strongly feel that way when it comes to you. What's the two of cut? The hangman, just speaking on seeing something differently. So for some of you, you will have two romantic interests. Um, it's, uh, you could also have th three. Um, the empress here can also represent a romantic interest, but it can represent you. But I do feel like your love life. I mean, I feel like it has like good twists and turns. You're not expecting to hear from someone and then you do hear from them. You were never expecting this person to apologize and then they start with an apology. So there's definite, there's something somebody is doing. You or someone, um, when it comes to you, a message they're sending. That, that feels like with the hangman, 
you're picking up. This is happening because you accepted an ending. You allowed, like somebody was able to change, make changes, see things differently because you made a strong stance and you did what you had to do. Maybe separated yourself from this person, the hermit. Maybe you isolated yourself. You did not give access to this person and they're becoming a better individual. You know, there could be somebody here who feels like, you know, you know you're know, you inspired to be a better lover because you don't want to lose out on this type of love again. But this is definitely seeing a relationship from a new perspective, seeing it in a different light here. It's like if you told yourself, I would never date my child's other parent again. And this person is like doing nice things for you, bringing you cupcakes. <laughs> you know, they smiled at you at your kid's party and you felt something. I definitely feel that. Like somebody here is like co-parenting and you're going to see this person differently or they're going to look at you differently, lovingly even. It's just somebody needed time. Okay. Somebody needed to wise up. All right. There's an energy here that needed to do some soul searching. And now that it's been done, um, I do feel like there's a relationship that could be coming back together and you didn't see it coming. Okay. So some of you are getting a new phase, like the Phoenix here suggests. You're getting a new phase with a familiar person. You're rekindling things with a familiar person. So the Knight of Coins, okay? Let's take a look at this Knight of Coins. Some of you may meet someone new and really, really like them and you start dealing with them. This person feels like they may tell you that they got out of a breakup um, or that they're, they, they're broken up with somebody, but it was a recent breakup. Okay. That's something they could share with you. You have a, a Virgo here, Taurus energy. So strong Taurus Virgo as well. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Pisces, um, Pisces strongly here. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio. So, someone wants a relationship. There's something about this Knight of Coins where I feel like they're not telling you. They're just getting to know you. They're not telling you they want a relationship, but they that is their intention. All right? Someone is ready to settle down. Yeah, they're not telling you. The moon. <laughs> uh, this person is feeling the situation out. They're trusting their intuition. They're going off of vibes. I don't feel like this is about them keeping secrets so much as it is them wanting to learn from their mistakes and do things slower. Okay. Be more careful about impulsive behavior, especially when it comes to love and relationships. There's an earth sign here. You definitely may be reconsidering your ex, like somebody you were married to. Okay, ex, ex, uh, partner. What's the uh, hierophant? Thank you. Lovers. So, yeah, somebody has the intentions to be with you in a relationship. I'm going to, it could be a very spiritual relationship. I'm going to hide the lovers here. Um, it's a very spiritual relationship. This person feels like it's worth going slow. Whoever you're dealing with in February, and a lot of you are dealing with someone, they control the pacing of the connection. <laughs> um, I also feel like this is someone you have had a relationship with before. It could be new energies, but this is either someone you've had a relationship before, relationship with before, or this is someone who prefers to be in a relationship. So the vibes they come to the table with are just real committed, solid. You get good feelings from them. What's the um, lovers here with the horrifying? Yep. Knight of Pentacles. Again, you can't get away from the energy of someone with really, really good intentions with you. Ace of Pentacles. So this person may spend money on you. Okay. In February, this person feels like someone who offers you a position in their life. Okay. So that could be something coming through. This person wants to make it more serious. This could be a connection that started off as kind of like flirtation and crush energy. Um, for somebody here, you could be like being intimate with this person for the first time in February for others of you, the first time in a long time. Okay. Um, there's an ending that blessed your life. 
because February, your love life is thriving. It, it, it's only because of that Ten of Swords. To have the Hierophant, the Lovers, and the Knight of Pentacles, that's a strong energy that somebody is determined to like make this work with you. To be traditional. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody who may be um, very traditional. Okay, they are coming in with the intentions to build with you, to have a life with you. They like to move slow, Ace of Pentacles, but they're they're moving slow for a reason. This is someone who could also be just like working um, hard to make more money in their life, to have a better career, to just be in a more financially stable situation because they do want marriage. So the four of swords, this could also be someone I'm getting ghosting energy. I don't feel like this person ghosts. Okay. So the four of swords in the moon, they could. <laughs> okay. Just saying you there's there's an energy of dealing with this person consistently and then like out of nowhere you don't hear from them i do feel like this person um has not or they'll need help communicating to you how you need to be communicated with but the four swords feels like a, a very like peaceful time in their life and they just want to enjoy it with you is what it looks like. What's the four of swords? Six of wands. You have the six of wands twice. So I feel like this person doesn't like the attention or they don't like a lot of focus on their personal life. But something about being with you changes that very strongly. Okay, so I went back to this page of cups with that energy. Some of you, there's somebody you are putting on the like the back burner, right? Because this Knight of Pentacles is coming in strong. There's somebody here that you still care about. Um, you still see like you guys will rekindle things or it could be together, but you feel like you want to give somebody else a chance. That's also an energy coming through. And so with the four of swords and the six of wands, it's kind of like somebody hasn't been out in a while. Somebody's like been taking a break. They've been like non-social. They don't go to the events and they're finally getting back out there. So that could even just be your energy after not dating for weeks or for months. You're you're going out on a date. <laughs> you know, somebody's taking you out. Um, there's definitely a cautiousness. Uh, four of Cups. Yep. There's definitely a cautiousness about putting this relationship on display um, because I feel like, you know, th this is a time for somebody to have fun. And so you want to somebody's rejecting like speeding things up or giving titles in February because you just want to enjoy it. Six of Cups. I probably have specifically two groups of people here. Some of you that are just seeing a past person in a new light and you guys are rekindling that. And, and then there are those of you who are dealing with more than one person. And it's both, both of those situations are going well. But, um, Someone doesn't like a lot of attention. That could be the topic of a conversation in February. Somebody doesn't want to be online or something. They want to be like private. What's the Four of Cups? The Four of Pentacles for sure. Somebody wants to protect what's valuable to them. I also feel like Nine of Pentacles. It's like someone still has an image of being single or like maybe it's a part of your like what you do right you could be an entertainer this feels like you now um but maybe you could just be someone who had like you could be a model and it just branding wise you want to protect the image of you being accessible or single okay because it's more profitable for you i'm specifically getting like Instagram model energy, somebody really beautiful, really wanted by a lot of people. And while you do value a relationship that feels like it's forming in your life, you, you aren't, um, too keen on titles and like public displays of affection with this person. Maybe you're even subtle. If you post a picture, you just post this per, this picture, this person's like 
shoes or something. You're, you're just doing something in a very uh, subtle way because I feel like some of you um, can, like you have the ability to make money off of your image or your branding, or you just, you've been there, done that, you know, posted the the love and the relationships. And it, when it didn't work out, you just felt like, okay, next time I'm going to protect it. Also, you've been doing a lot of good work individually. And so you don't want it to look like, this is you guys, right? This isn't me saying this. This is you guys coming across as you don't want to look like you need somebody, you know, but you do have somebody here that feels like a good match for you, pursuing you, taking it slow with you. And I do sometimes point out that the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles to me seem like two people dating each other, you know, still maintaining their individual purposes, not ready to come into union yet. OK, but knowing that they will. So that's how it feels with you and somebody, you know, maybe you don't want to post them yet. Maybe they have an issue with, with you posting them or something like that, but you are able to still honor and respect the relationship you have with them while still building yourself up individually, building your business, okay? Focusing on your money here, okay? Some of you are being encouraged to accept being wooed and wined and dined in February, but to not lose focus of your individual purpose, and what you're, what you're working on. Some of you do have a project you're working on. So the moon. All right. There's something hidden. Okay. So the moon is here with the empress. Okay. So definite pregnancy energies. Someone may conceive in February. All right. If you're an earth sign, that feels like it's for you. Taurus is specifically, but also Virgo. Um, maybe Capricorn, but, um, Some of you may, this is a small energy, but I got to point it out. Some of you may be dating someone. They have a pregnant, like, girlfriend or something. I mean, not girlfriend, a pregnant, per like, somebody they were dealing with is pregnant. And they're dating you. They're not with this person. This person may even be with someone else now. But that, like I said, it's a small energy, but I definitely wanted to point it out. You may, this may be brought attention to or have some attention paid to it in February with the Six of Wands. The Moon, yep, Page of Swords. I'm, I'm picking up something, some information you get or you search and you see, you know, somebody they were dealing with is pregnant. And um, this could be the Page of Cups energy wanting you maybe on pause right now while you see what's going on with you and someone else because they do have a child on the way but look you're you're uncovering something some information about somebody you're dealing with okay in february what's the page of swords the queen of pentacles okay This person, um, you could be finding out more about their finances if that's the case, because some of you are dealing with somebody very private. You're, you have to search for the information. This almost even feels like you sleeping with this person and you happen to see some bank information or something wherever you guys are. So that's also a possibility. I feel like you will, you see or you realize this person makes a lot of money. OK, somehow you get their information and you feel and you see that this person could make a lot of money or they're very stable. Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles also feels like um, somebody is talking <laughs> behind the scenes. Somebody is talking about your love life. Feeling like they know you're dealing with somebody, but you're keeping it hidden. It could be like a sibling. Like, I know you're dating somebody. You know, I haven't heard from you. Two of swords in the reverse. You're not sure if you want to talk to the people close to you about your love life, though. You'll decide that in February is what I get. Um, I feel like there's also something about not wanting to hide anymore. Okay, for those of you, what whatever that means for you, how that'll resonate. Somebody doesn't want to hide anymore. Okay, so the empress. All right, so some of you may be connecting to an empress who is attracted to you. Okay, it could be a feminine energy. It could just be a parent. It could be you. 
All right. Focusing on that self love. Um, there's definitely a lot of like soft life vibes for you. I don't feel a lot of stress, worry, pain in your love life. Yeah. Doubling down the empress. I just had um, a, a vision earlier about two empresses. And I said, if this ever came through, I was going to say that there could be, um, what did I say? If I ever saw this energy together, um, two feminine energies blossoming at the same time or something like that. I just got that, you know? And so there's something for you guys in this message about possibly... Like somebody you're dating in February, one of their friends is dating someone that you're going to become lifelong friends with. There could be even double dates. You could end up pregnant at the same time as this person will be pregnant. There's something about this double empress energy that feels like uh, your love life is going to be filled with a lot of life and abundance. And a part of that is meeting new players in your world. Right. This ending really did bless your life because you're about to meet new people. Um, this could also be moms meeting. OK, however, that would resonate for you uh, meeting this person's mother or this person's child or children's mother. All right. Somebody's just that serious about you. What's the empress here twice? OK, that's our. For some of you, there's definitely a feminine energy attracted to you. And I feel like that's shocking for you. So your love life, it feels like you're either inspiring somebody and this person, you, okay. So somebody could want to be you, all right, um, because they're secretly like in love with you or something, all right? That's not uncommon, you know, Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants you. This is desire and passion here. You may get a message or hear about somebody close to you that's been watching you. This person, um, they could shock you by letting you know they have sexual desire. Okay. There's a feminine energy here who could have a sexual encounter or kiss another feminine energy. There could definitely be same sex couples that are blossoming and lots of passion here. So just want to make sure I include the energies because it is, is what it is. Two empresses with the tower and the knight of wands. That's really explosive sex. That's really passionate chemistry, uh, really strong bonding. Okay. All right. Two beautiful people. So six of wands. You're paying attention to your love life. I feel like this, you're, you're participating. Okay. In the dating scene this February, whether you realize it or not right now, I feel like you guys are paying very close attention to your love life. You, you want to be adored again. You want to be, you know, pampered, showered. You want attention. And I feel like you're getting it. Nine of wands, very protective, still finding that balance of not hiding. Somebody you have feelings for that you want or somebody that wants you, but definitely protecting it. Okay. You might be blocking your page off. So sometimes when people like get in relationships, they may block certain other people because they don't want them to see what's going on with a fortune. So some of the relationships in your life may change. This feels like it's about you because you don't want certain people to know what you got going on. So what's the, you got some nosy people for sure around you though. What's the will of fortune? Some there may be speak there may be talk of a threesome um as well in February. The nine of cups with the will of fortune. That's something that comes through with the Empress, Empress Tower, Knight of Wands. There could definitely be um a threesome. Okay. But I feel like some of you, the six of wands is also about back to your image, right? Wanting to stay the same attractive, sexy person that somebody was attracted to, someone's wish fulfillment. It's like you want to show this person it gets more and more exciting with me. It gets more and more sexy. So yeah, there could be some, you know, 
um, ideas about how to spice things up. I'll put it that way here. Um, because I feel like there's like, I like, this is kind of like a nice hip cliffhanger, right? The six of wands with the nine of wands, the will of fortune and the nine of cups, because it's like, you get what you want in February and you're excited to see what's to come. Like February is going to be really exciting for you. So I'm going to, um, I have the Phoenix here. I'm going to clarify that in the extended, but I'm going to grab some more here. Um, okay. Stabbed in the back. Okay. So I'll clarify that in the extended. What else is coming in group two's love life? Girl with a snake. All right. Okay. So here's the drama. All right. What else is and self-indulgence. Okay. So I'm going to clarify all of these in the extended and go into them. I am going to also take a special sneak peek into what your Valentine's Day is going to look like. This is where I'm making some real predictions and channelings here to see what your Valentine's Day is going to look, look like for those of you interested. I'm also going to take a look at what you can expect based on the element of the person you'll be dealing with. What can you expect dealing with a fire sign in February? What can you expect dealing with an earth sign? in February, an air sign, a water sign. Some of you who will be dealing with more than one person, this can be really insightful for you. And I'm also going to take a look at your overall lesson in love with the rebel deck. Okay, my really blunt direct deck. What is your overall lesson um, throughout February when it comes to love? What are you learning or what are you supposed to learn? Okay, so you guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe. Let me know what you think. Check out the exclusive content um, in the description box. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out the sunsage.com details in the description box. And I am taking this to the extended now. Hello, Group 3. It is the Sun Sage. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to your next pick a card reading, which is what's next, your love life in February. So this is where I take a sneak peek and grab some predictions for you guys for what's next in your love life. So whether you're single, connected, or about to connect to someone, maybe about to be single, separating from someone, this is going to let you know what is coming in, what's in store. So y'all were drawn to the tiger's eye. All right. And the Luna de la Lunaverse Tarot. So group three. What's next for your love life in the month of February? All right. What do we have for group three? What's coming in? Okay. The Six of Swords. So that'll really resonate for those of you going through a breakup, moving on from someone. But uh, we have the emperor. You're moving right towards an emperor is what it looks like for a lot of you. Um, what's next? Your love life in February. That is the, okay, four of cups. Okay, in the reverse. The Hermit, the Six of Pentacles, okay, all right, and the Empress, which kind of wants to be here in the reverse, I'll, you know, put it upright, but that could be an energy of not feeling ready, okay, for a relationship, you know, not feeling healed, but we'll see what comes through. Ten of Pentacles. Emperor, Empress. There is a divine uh, connection here with you and someone. Some of you thought you were moving on or could move on from someone. And it may be a struggle to do that because you have or want a life with this person. You could share children, a family, a home. All right. Okay, let's try this again. All right, let's see what we have here for your love life in February. The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed minds. You and someone are still trying to figure out how to make this work. 
I feel like you're in a connection already for the most part. I feel like some of you who have tried to move on or feel like you want to move on from someone, there may still be some work to do. So that energy that came through with the six of swords um, that felt like you're, you're tr may go into separation, you could still go into separation from your counterpart in February. There could still definitely be some isolation, some moments of solitude away from one another. Um, this could be something you're both doing. Okay. The six of pentacles is here, maybe matching energy with each other, but it's because there's some, something special still here. Okay. Ten of pentacles. So it may not be your season to move away from each other is what's coming through. All right. But let's, uh, let's see. All right. You could be changing your mind and deciding to rekindle your relationship with this uh, emperor here. But we have the six of swords. It's like transitioning, but it's, 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 it's definitely not an easy transition, right? It's like when you're trying to tell yourself, you know, I can find better or I don't have to deal with this or I can deal with somebody who's going to show me more, whatever. But you also acknowledge that this person may have done a lot for you. You may have some great experiences with this person. So this is like a, a energy of moving on. But what I'm getting from this card, it's like having a hard time moving on. But let's see what comes through with that. What's the Six of Swords here? Some of you are moving closer to a divine counterpart, even in your separation. Like things just may not be the way you want it to be with you and your person in February. But there's still like healing here. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of acknowledging that you love each other just this and that something is still meant to be. So yeah, it, the reason why a transition or the idea of moving on from someone could feel difficult is because of justice. There could be a sense that this is just a rough patch, but you've accepted that this is your person and that you guys are meant to be together. And so there's some restoration coming to your relationship or your love life in February, Three of Pentacles. Um, I definitely feel like the there's peace, truth, and honesty, but I feel, I kind of feel like you and your person are doing this separately. I don't feel any resentment. I don't feel like either of you hate each other. You just may be separated. And that separation can continue throughout February, but it's definitely coming through. Like there's some sort of revelation that you belong together. Um, someone could, you know, make their decision to work towards marriage with you. Let's justice Libra here, the moon. Okay. So justice and the moon showing up with the six of swords, it feels like you don't feel right about how something played out. Someone doesn't. You are your person. And so you, you're going to revisit it, but you want to get your, you want to get your thoughts together first, right? Nine of swords. I feel like you are dealing with someone right now. Um, right now you're in a weird place is what it feels like with them. You may be doubtful about the future of this connection. You could also feel like honesty is a problem in your connection. Like your person isn't honest with you. Like someone's keeping secrets or they don't share with you. And so there's also here, like somebody is threatening to move on. So February, this is playing out. I feel like you just want more reciprocity from this person. And it feels like they're the type of person that goes, I want to give you more, but I can't or but something, you know, what's this moon? Pisces energy here. Also Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Libra. What's the moon? Judgment. I definitely feel like whatever you're going through with somebody in February, they decide or figure out that month that it's you they want to be with. Somebody needed some space and you may still be, you know, taking space from each other in February. Just realistically, you may not be together all of February with your person. You may have very few moments of togetherness, if any moments of togetherness. But this feels like somebody you're dealing with already. It doesn't look like someone new. Um, I feel like your all roads lead to, I was saying you, you're headed right towards an emperor. You're headed back towards an emperor. The past energies don't really show up. So 
Well, here's judgment. Yeah. So the past energies don't show up strongly, but judgment being here is a sign that you're getting a do over and a connection. But February may just be time to sort of like heal and reflect and be, be alone. You know, there's something about February that's important for your connection because it, it brings you both back to this realization. I think we are supposed to be together. So some of you are already dealing with your divine counterpart. There's definitely something here about a pregnancy could have changed things in your relationship. Maybe things were going well. Someone's pregnant. Somebody doesn't want, you know, to, to have children at this time. That could be a, a, a issue. Judgment is like, there's a big issue on the table, right? Perhaps there's a third party dynamic. Your person is married or somebody here is still married, but they want to move forward with you, but they haven't taken the steps to get the, the, the divorce. So there's your connection is one of those connections group three, where there's a big issue on the table that may not get resolved in February, but what does become more clear is that somebody feels like you are their person and that they want to be with you. So the emperor, all right. So I feel like your love life is about you taking control of the situation. Um, this is what, this is what I feel leads to your walking away from this person or separating yourself from them. You're trying to incite some sort of decisiveness and clarity from them. And I feel like you will get it, but I do feel like you push this person to take more control and to be more responsible for their behavior and their actions here in February. Five of Cups. It's like you want this person to fight for you. And so you walk away. Nine of Wands here. You block their number. You do all the things that limit easy access to you in hopes that they will fight for this and come towards you. Nine of Wands. For a lot of you, it'll work because this person is going to be sad without you. There's an emperor here that's going to be sad, you know, just honestly throughout the most of February because they're not going to want to budge just yet. February may not be that month where they, you know, express their regret, but they will feel it very deeply. What's the Five of Cups? Some of you, this could be your energy as well. Nine of Swords. You could just be feeling deep regret. Fear. I don't know what's going to happen between us. I really want my person. There's issues of not following intuition or not trusting it, not knowing whether it's intuition or fear that's trying to give you signs and signals about one another. So overall, look, you could absolutely have something that is interfering with the energy of your connection with your, with your person. Okay. The emperor is showing up as very regretful, very scared in February, um, very uncertain of how to move forward with you, just knowing that they don't want to miss out on this opportunity with you with the four of cups in the reverse. But let me see what the nine of swords is about. Five of swords. You could absolutely have an interference, queen of swords. So just realistically, guys, there's a third party dynamic here. Okay. This can be somebody, you know, they're getting divorced from trying to make things difficult for them. This could be someone you're getting divorced from trying to make things difficult for you. The queen of swords is just saying there is a very stark, cold energy interfering with your connection and they're kind of winning throughout February. Okay. Um, whatever doubts, whatever hurt, whatever pain they, they're wanting your person to feel and they're wanting your person to bring back to you is definitely working. You know, this is somebody who is insecure. This is somebody who is coming through as sabotaging this relationship, um, doing things. They can't even explain why they're doing it. And I feel like it is all because of some stronger energy at this time, Queen of Swords here, who is, uh, who is able to put pressure on the person you're going to be dealing with and make them feel bad either about moving towards you or moving away from them, you know, if they don't know about you. This is also you guys demanding clarity and decisiveness from your person, okay? Um, I feel like they may get mad about you demanding clarity and decisiveness from them um, in February with the Five of Swords. They don't know what they, what they want, but they also want to keep you. And it's like, 
They may even say something they regret. Okay, that's strongly coming through. All right, your counterpart could say something they don't like. You could get into an argument with this person with the Queen of Swords. You may reveal some sort of truth or something that you knew all along. Like you're, you guys are just like figuring things out in February with your person. Okay, even if you're doing it separately, they're thinking about you. You're thinking about them. And both of you are just trying to think about where we go from here. So four of cups in the reverse. I feel like neither of you want to move on for real, right? That four of cups in the reverse is like a missed opportunity that you don't want to come to pass. It's like you realize you still have some sort of grip on each other and you want to keep it that way. You're not ready to, you know, lose out on this just yet. What's the four of cups in the reverse? Two of swords in the reverse. Oh, Okay. High Priestess in the reverse, Two of Swords in the reverse. Somebody you're dealing with doesn't know what they want. This is why you're pulling your energy away because I see it. They don't know what they want. They don't know what to trust. They don't know what they should do, how they should make the decision. They're leaving you in limbo. And I feel like you make the decision for them in February. It could be a really tense month for your love life here. This person may not listen to you, you know, when you're trying to help them or when you are trying to give them clarity, they may be like, I can figure it out on my own type thing. Two of swords in the reverse, high priestess in the reverse. What do we have with that? The Hierophant. There's also a choice, okay, coming through. Two of swords, Hierophant. This is a, a choice. It's going to become more clear to this person in February what they need to do. But they're already still feeling like they are conforming or loyal to another relationship or another lifestyle. And so they're not ready to come to you just yet. So absolutely, somebody may ghost the other, the hermit. All right, somebody's not ready to deal with like a lot of the intensity of the connection. Someone finally sees the truth about their marriage. You may have been trying to tell them or this person sees the truth about a third party. You were trying to tell them they weren't listening. You know, they weren't trusting their own intuition. Um, it's a complicated relationship situation. And some of you have, you know, pulled yourself away. In February, you try to remain separate. There may be attempts to communicate with each other. Um, this specific person coming through so strongly. So if there's a new person coming towards you, I don't feel like you're entertaining them. So if some of you are like, well, what about someone new? What is there? Some it's just not showing up that they're going to make it through the energy because you're probably going to be so mad or frustrated dealing with your person and the energies that are surrounding your connection. You're not, you're either going to miss out on somebody trying to get close to you romantically, or you're not going to care, <laughs> you know, is what's coming through, right? So the hermit. There could be a Virgo giving you advice in February about your love life. <clears throat> um, I feel like you could want your person to go to therapy. I feel like they've been resistant, but they may give in. What's the hermit here? The chariot. This is also feeling like you get further when you're alone and not worried about this person and not focused on them. This is why I feel like you guys spend February kind of separated from your person overall um, because it's just coming through. They're not moving at a pace or advancing at a pace you are. You're surpassing them in some way. You're ready for marriage or you're ready for a relationship and they're becoming a burden because they're stuck in something or they can't make up their mind about something important. But you don't want to stay stagnant. So you keep moving, knowing that you may have to move forward on your own. The hermit with the chariot. I also feel like whatever, whoever is doing the soul searching, right? It could be both of you, but whoever that energy is really focused on soul searching, you really are getting to the bottom of things and figuring things out in the chariot energy, really um having a victory 
with that soul searching. Messages are coming to you. Signs are coming to you left and right. The eight of wands here. You're changing your perspective. You're changing your mind. You're changing, um, you know, you're definitely not stagnant. Your wheels are turning in February when it comes to your love life. You're coming up with solutions and options. You just don't implement them is what I see yet in February. Knight of Pentacles definitely coming up with like um, some type of practical solutions. So somebody's definitely doing soul searching. I feel like this is your person, but I also feel like you've done a lot of the work and you may still be continuing that. I just feel like, look, if, if this person is shutting down, I'm almost feeling the need to say, you know, just let them and do you because they're going to figure it out. They're not shutting down aimlessly. They're going to hit their target or figure out they need to become more stable or to think from a more practical perspective, to consider you, to be more reciprocal. They may even come up with the idea of offering you something because we go straight to the Six of Pentacles where that alone time and that solitude, they're able to realize I need to give you something, group three. I need to show you something. You guys may even be pissed. You know, this empress never looks happy to me. Um, and so whatever they're giving or wanting to give you, I do feel like a lot of you feel like this person turned their back on you for far too long and you just don't want to make it easy for them to come back. You want them to fight. You may kind of want them to suffer or struggle a little bit before they, before you sort of uh, let them have access again, because I feel like this is somebody that's putting you through a lot right now and you just don't feel, you feel like you may know that this is your person, but everything you're going through, it's kind of like um, diminishing your feelings somewhat, but what's the six of pentacles? The Ten of Pentacles and the world. You may visit this person, go to their home. Okay, you you may share kids with them. So you guys may spend some time together as a family. I feel like if you do spend time with this person, it's going to be around other people. So whether they're like, I'm tired of the silence. Why don't you come over here? It's, you know, let's have dinner with my family and you go. It's it's it's. You do that, but you go, you know, to maintain the image of the relationship more so than going because it feels like it, it solves anything or it makes you feel good. I feel like you're, you're still confused about this person in February. We have the nine of pentacles, king of pentacles. Yeah, they're making an offer to you. It feels kind of like the offer is non-sexual. It's not very romantic, but it's still some way of letting you know they want to be with you. Nine of pentacles, 10 of pentacles. All right. I feel like this person is, is going to be generous with you. You have a Taurus here, Virgo, um, Capricorn energy, also Aquarius. Taurus is very strong in this reading, um, but the six of pentacles coming through feels you, you you aren't pissed at each other in February because, again, I'm coming from the, the space that you guys have somebody that you deal with. This It's just that this person is confusing you. One minute they're shutting the door on you. The next minute they're opening up the doors to their life to you. And it does feel as if they've realized you could both have a very successful, abundant life together. And they don't want to miss out on that for sure. This person likes stability and tradition. Well, you're as stable and traditional as it comes as the empress, all right? They do want children with you. That could be a conversation that comes in. It could be a conversation you've already had. It's revisited in February. What's this empress? This person may offer to get your hair done or do something for you. This could be about like beauty image or something. So with that six of pentacles showing up before it, they could offer to pay for something, you know, cosmetic. All right. They could also offer to like take care of your plans, something that, you know, you cherish and value that's important to you, whether it's internal or external. This person may offer to pay for that. Take care of the bill, Knight of Wands. Some of you are concerned 
in February, though, they're only seeing you sexualized. They're only seeing you um, as somebody they want and desire, but may not be taking seriously. And some of you are just over it. There's the Empress again. I feel like this person absolutely sees your worth. They're just in a situation or dealing with something that has them shortchanging you for sure. Strength. They are holding back. And some of you are craving them. Okay. Um, very turned on and enticed by them, but you're holding back your sexual desire because you're like, I'm going to defeat my purpose, which is to make them understand they need to be more serious with me. All right. So some of you may go celibate. We have the Hierophant, the Emperor's strength. So that's a strong sign of celibacy in the month of February for some, oh, the Six of Pentacles just flipped out in the reverse. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So yeah, I don't think you're giving it, giving anything to this person. Even if they give you money to do something nice for yourself, if they give you a gift, if they do something special for you, you're not reciprocating that. You're going to hold off on that. And if this person thinks they're going to come in, like apologize, try to offer you something, um, and then get something out of it from you, you already see through it. Seven of Swords, you know what they're trying to do. You know that they're either trying to sneak back in or that they're trying to sneak in without some sort of accountability here and get away with something they've done or something they're not doing enough of. Seven of Swords, and you're not going to let them get away with that. So the Empress is showing up with the Knight of Wands strength and the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. No matter how much you desire this person and want to be with them physically, I really just feel like you're going to be able to control your urges in um, February because you need this person to understand, you know, you're more than that. So we have the Phoenix here. I'm going to get clarity for that in the extended. What else do we have for your love life? I'm going to get more information for you. Healing heart. Yep. I'll clarify that in the extended. What else do we have for group three? Stabbed in the back. All right. Definitely want to see why that's showing up. And we also have boat, okay, which is like that six of swords energy. So I'll go over these and clarify them in the extended group three. I'm also going to take a look, a very special look at what your Valentine's Day is going to look like. Since it is February that I am checking in on, I want to see what's happening for you guys in, in, on Valentine's Day. I also want to see what you can expect, um, depending on the person's element. Okay, so whoever you're dealing with, uh, depending on their element, whether they're a fire sign, earth sign, water sign, or air sign, what can you expect from them? Okay, I'll break it down and I will also take a look at your overall love lesson. Okay, this can give you some insight into why you may be going through this in February or, or what the purpose of some of these, uh, struggles could be about. All right. So group three, I really want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Check out the exclusive content in the description box. If you are, um, if you do want a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the sunsage.com details in the description box. And I am taking this to the extended.